excited about everything we're going to hear on today. Yes. And we are excited about all that God is going to do right here in his presence on today. Amen. 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 We're going to open up with our corporate reading. Psalms 126 verse 1. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's read. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Amen, amen, amen. We rejoice on this morning. Because yes, our God, he is faithful. Yes, he, is. he is a faithful God. He's a committed God. He's a consistent God. Yes. He's always there with us. And we just yes, bless Lord. his name amen. on today. Amen. For you being faithful, God, we bless your name and we amen. praise you, Father. Amen. You are so good and we bless your name on today, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Lord. We rejoice in your presence, amen. Father. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Come on, let's bless you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy is our God. I 
Father. 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 You are good. You, you are, are good. good. Your mercy endures forever. And your mercy endures forever. Father. Father. You are good. You are good. And your mercy endures forever. And your mercy endures forever. Father. Father. You are so good. You are so good. You are a good, good father. Good, good father. <laughs> oh, you are a good, good father. Always providing. Always taking care of your children. Always watching over us. Always doing what's best for us. Just for that, this morning, Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Yes. You are good. Yes. Your mercy endures forever. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, right now to speak to us on this morning. Holy Spirit, you must give us the ear. All you have us to hear. For blessed are our eyes to see our ears to hear, and our minds are blessed and our hearts to understand all things. And we love you today. Yes. We bless you. Yes. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. 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 I know in times past we usually do a first session and then stop with a second session. But because we we're, were recording and on video and we're live and stuff, we're just gonna go straight through. And we're gonna stop when the Holy Spirit tells us stop. All right. And then we go home. How about that? All right. So God is good, right? Yes, yes. Mark three, verse twenty-three. Let's go, man. Woo! Jesus. My Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's go. Mark 3, verse 23. And have a say, amen. 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 Some would say, Pastor, you pray in the Spirit and you're live on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Spirit is live too. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> amen. The Holy Spirit got to go live also. Yes, Come on, amen. 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 The Holy Spirit got to go live. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you that we're going to be coming to I pull us up first. Live was made for the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all can come home, man. Yeah, yeah. Live was made for the Holy Ghost. Oh, y'all yeah. know this thing was made. Mm -hmm. It was made for the Holy Ghost. No, no, no. It was made for the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. So no matter where you are, you can be connected with the Word. Yeah, right. Connected right. with the Spirit of God. Be connected with the believers. Say that something. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, let's go. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Woo. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Right. Yeah. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Right. And if Satan rises up against himself and he be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. My Lord. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Uh -huh. Let me understand that. Amen. First, go to Luke 11, 21. Before I say what I'm about to say. Luke 11, 21. Luke 11, verse 21. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil or take that strong man's goods unless you first bind the strong man. Luke 11, verse 21. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him, say stronger than he, stronger than he, yes, Lord, and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor when he trusted and divided all his spoils. Yes. All right. The last time we had our financial training, right after the last time we had our financial training, I don't know if you remember, but I was attacked in my body. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Why? Because we were getting too close to the strong man's house. Yes, amen. Uh -huh. We must understand that Satan fights to keep people broke. Yes, uh -huh. amen. Yeah. He don't mind you going to church. 
Matter of fact, he'll go with you. <laughs> he will go with you. Look, look, look. <laughs> He believes in him. Uh -huh. yeah. And I don't know about you, you know, when someone's trying to take something that's yours, you need to, you need to stand up. Uh -huh. Yes, amen. You know what I'm telling you? Yeah. So when he thinks it's his, when he sees somebody trying to spoil his house, it doesn't only make sense, he's going to rise up. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. that's right. And the devil taking him into a high mountain showed him all the kings of the world in a moment of time. Mm -hmm. So Satan takes your shoe or Jesus up into a high mountain and shows him all the kingdoms of the world at, at a moment of time. Uh -huh. Lord. Yeah. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. And we know that word glory, that means what? The wealth of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. He tells you, sure, listen. He takes him up to the top of a high mountain, and all at one time, show him all the kingdoms and all the wealth of the kingdom. And he said, Listen, all you got to do is bow down to me, and I give it all to you, because it has been delivered, been delivered unto me. So again, he thinks the money is his. Yes. So when you get close to spoiling or, or taking what belongs to you, he tries to, to rise up and try to get you to back up. Uh -huh. He tries to shake you to get you to back up. Listen to him I'll tell you. With our understanding of kingdom finances, we must also understand we must be spiritual people. Yes. Amen. You are Amen. not going to be able to walk in kingdom prosperity and be carnal. Yeah, that's right. right. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to sow seeds but be carnal. Right. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praying in the spirit and warning in the spirit is the only way you're going to be able to spoil the strong man's house. You will never spoil the devil with intellect. Amen. Yeah, that's right. right. Amen. You will never spoil the enemy with, with, your, with your education. Uh -huh. yeah, again, he's not part of your education. Right. Right. You got people. You got people with uh, way more education than you have working for you. You know what I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, so, 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 so the education. He's not moving education. Uh -huh. You're not going to spoil or hit us. You're not going to take what's rightfully yours through education. They love education. You're not going. You're not. You're not going to take what's rightfully yours through common sense. They love all that. Only way you're going to spoil this house is through the realm of the spirit. Yes, right. that's right. The only way you're going to do it. Yes, that's right. So what the Lord was showing was, let me listen. And, and I, 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 I didn't share this one. I didn't have to share this one. Live and everything, whatever, whatever. But, but I was I was very upset. Mm -hmm. I shared this with the congregation. I'm like, no, oh, we're doing well. We ran a hard Lord. We were preaching the gospel. We 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 uh, having prosperity training. We we're running well. Yeah, I don't care what nobody else thinks anymore. We are holy ghost people. Yeah, yes. Amen. That's right. 
Yeah. Well, we're those people. Amen. And the only way you're going to reach your harvest is through the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Now, Thursday morning, three to four, that, that picture for me. Uh, 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 spirit of poverty. There's, understand something. Poverty is spiritual. Yes. Yes, it it's is. It's the spirit of poverty. Yes. You can't throw money at it. If you try to throw money at, at poverty, if the person doesn't deal with that spirit of poverty, they can eventually go back to being poor. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. You see it all the time? People hit the lottery. Mm -hmm. But if their inside don't change, let's die. Eventually, they're going to work their way back to being poverty. Right. That's right. right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Being poor. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Poverty is spiritual. It's a spiritual issue. You can't throw money in. You got to deal with it in the realm of the spirit. That's right. Amen. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thursday, we got off the prayer line. And I was, you know, we do our Bible about prayer. Got off the prayer line. And I, again, after I, I, I finished praying, I wrote my petition. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote like, the declarations for this year. And then I go back upstairs and lay across the bed for a minute before I get up and go to work. But as soon as I, my head hit the pillow, not this Thursday, Thursday for last. So my head in the pillow, the Lord allowed me to see the spirit of poverty. Mm -hmm. and, I, and when I first saw it, I didn't really think that I'm dying. I said, I said, Lord, you showing me something for real? So I'm dying that stuff and all those things. But then uh, I said, I've seen this image before. And, really, and, and, and this is what wasn't the image, but this is what it reminded me of. Mm -hmm. This is the, the humpback uh, of Notre Dame. That's the exact image of what it looked like. He was yeah. linked over, he had a hump, and he looked just like his face was boarded, but he was a beggar. Uh -huh. yeah. He looked like someone that would be on the side of the road begging. Uh -huh. and, and he revealed that's the spirit of poverty. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It's spiritual. Yes. Here's the truth. It's not a money issue at all. Yeah. That's why you can work two, three jobs and still be broke. Yeah, that's right. Because it's not a money issue. That's right. Amen. It's not a money issue. It's not a money issue. You literally have a spiritual, uh, a spirit of poverty that's trying to keep you broke. You're trying to just throw a dollar in the bucket, yeah. but this is lottery. Mm -hmm. And God said, no, 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 that's not lottery. Mm -hmm. This is not what they're going to say, 50, 50, or how they say it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. is that all that you want to tell me lottery? Yeah. This ain't no lottery. No. Mm -hmm. This is spiritual. Yeah, yeah. And if you, don't, if you don't operate in the realm of the spirit, Satan is laughing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't doing nothing. Right. That's right. Yeah. And God has been the ones who don't even believe in tithing and offering. They definitely ain't worried about them. No. Prosper. 
I believe 2019 is the year of Buttons of Harvard. Yes, it is. Yes, see. For this church. Yes. Yes. And for everybody else that believe it. Yes. 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 Amen. <laughs> so, with this being the year of Buttons of Harvard, the Lord will have us learning in our financial trainings how to become better at reaping. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because there is no need mm -hmm. for it to be a year of Buttons of Harvard. And you're not reaping it. That's right. right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Let's get it. That's right. Yes. Amen. I said, let's get it. Yeah. If God, if God, I ain't talking pookie. No. I ain't talking right there and, and, and she go on and them. If God had decreed and declared that this is the year of bust so hard for his people, uh -huh. I think we need to develop ourselves and reap it. Yes. Amen. 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 What was that we heard? You heard the reason like that God said I'm going to use you to reap it? I'm going to quit. He said, it's time, it's time, and I'm ready to use it. I read to you. She got slow. It's time to get in. Yes, yeah, God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Say it real, so tell you. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's go to Genesis 8 22. Let's get it in, man. Uh -huh. Yes. I don't want to be walking around with us of harvest. No. You got to know how to get into your house. Right. Yes. You got to know how to get into your family. You got to get into your church. Yes. We got to know how to reap the harvest. Yes. yes. Amen. I don't want to just get the excitement about it being a bunch of harvest. Right. The excitement comes when the harvest is in your account. Yeah. My right. God. Your right. so father gets excited when the harvest is in the shed in the barn yeah. that's done. Yeah. I don't want to be excited to the field. Oh, no, let's get it in. Get it in. That's right. right. I don't believe with all my heart. I know people. I don't care what people say. I don't believe. 
and the people not getting in. That's right. Amen. That's not at all. That's right. 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 That's Yes. Church anniversary. Choir anniversary. Youth revival. The church revival. And we get it. And we get it every argument. Amen. Every time we take compassion, put some in it. And that's good. You're supposed to. But I'm supposed to reap also, man. Amen. But then you teach on reaping and you're wrong. No, that's too much. No, you don't say it on dinner. That's right. God, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. So, man, can't see in the ground. We've done that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. And so, what? Sleep, ride, night and day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the seeds should spring and grow up. He knows now. Yeah, that's not yeah. our part. That's, that's, right. that's it. Right. The house gonna come in is not your part. That's, that's right. right. That's not your part. Your part is to put the seed in the ground. For the earth bringing forth fruit of herself, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. First the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately God put it in the circle. No. 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 I have two responsibilities here. I have to sow the seed. Yeah. And I have to reap the harvest. That's right. Yes. Amen. God does not reap the harvest for you. No, that's right. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Immediately you put it in the sickle because what? The harvest has come. Yeah. Yeah. And God has told us not that the harvest has come, the abundance of harvest has come. Right. So if the abundance of harvest has come, it's time to put it in the sickle. Yes. That's right. Yeah. 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 It's time to put it in the sickle and reap this harvest that's uh, gone. Yes. Amen. Okay? Here it is. Here it is. The harvest has come. It is. For every seed you have sown, you are entitled to a harvest. Yes. Amen. All right. That's right. I don't know why church folk, I don't know why we got this this yeah. this this mystery on seed time of harvest. There's no mystery to this. Mm -hmm. If you sow the seed, you are entitled to the harvest. Yeah, that's Amen. right. Amen.
had the right to lay claim on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have nothing to do with the church being defended. Yeah. Have nothing to do how many times you've seen the choir. Right. Mm -hmm. Have nothing to do how long your story is. Got nothing to do how many times you read your Bible. This is a law. Yeah. Yes. Amen. All right. Galatians six verse seven. Come on. So I'm entitled to heart. I'm entitled to heart. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not in the air. Heaven is not up there trying to. Trying to decide whether or not to give you your harvest. No, heaven has already decided if she has sown, she is entitled to a harvest. Uh -huh. Once God said it, that's a rock. That's, that's right. a law that governs as long as the earth remains. Up. So heaven and I are there. Hmm, let's see how she acts this week. We might give her a harvest. No, uh -huh. if I have sown a seed, I am entitled to the harvest. It has nothing to do with your behavior. Right. That's right. church that's attendance. Right. Yeah. My God. Right. Stop letting the enemy talk you out of your harvest. Amen. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be not deceived. Do not be deceived into thinking that I can sow a seed and don't get a harvest. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Do you know? For you to sow a seed and not get a harvest off the seed, that would make God a liar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, right. no. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh-uh, what you for? Yeah. Yeah. For you to put a seed in the ground and not get a harvest, God is mocked. But God is not a man, and he should not. That's right. That's right. Amen. We also want the first that's impossible for God. That's right. right. Yes. yes. Amen. Do not be deceived into thinking you can sow mm -hmm. and not get a harvest. Right. Yes. Amen. Stay with me, y'all. Mm -hmm. You cannot sow and fail to receive a harvest. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say it again. You. Cannot sow and fail to receive a harvest. Amen. Yes, that's right. If you think you can, you have been deceived. Yeah. Yes, amen. God is not mocked. For what sort of man saw, that shall be also reap. Mm -hmm. This is a law, and bless God, God will not break this law. He says, My word, actually, He says, My, my covenant will not alter. That's, that's right. going to pull out of my mouth, out of my lips. He ain't going to change this or anything. Uh -huh. That's right, amen. You cannot sow and fail to receive a harvest. Amen. My God. Amen. For what the man sow, that's what he also reap. Then he says, and let him not be weary when I do it for in due season. We shall reap if we make not. Uh, right. You cannot sow and fail to receive a harvest. Right. Yeah. It is impossible for you to sow and not get a harvest. That's right. Well, pastor, here we go. Wait, pastor. <laughs> I've sown many seeds. I went to all the conventions, and I put a seed in every time. Uh -huh. I was in the $50 line. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. In the $100 line. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was there, pastor, and I, don't, I ain't get no harvest. Oh. Here's the issue. Either God's a liar mm -hmm. or you a liar. Mm -hmm. I choose you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I choose you. I choose you. Yes. You lie. You lie. Yes. yes. Okay. I sow many seeds and have not been the harvest. Hear what he said. Hear what he said. I sow many seeds and have not reaped my harvest. Mm. Uh -huh. Hear me. I sow many seeds, Pastor, and have not reaped my harvest. Hear it again. Pastor, I sow many seeds, check, right, and have not reaped my harvest. You're absolutely right. That's right. That's right. Amen. You're absolutely right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I agree with you. Yeah. But the harvest came. That's you right. just didn't reap it. Yeah. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. God. Amen. So God didn't lie? No. That's right. No. <laughs> oh. You just didn't reap it. You didn't take it. So you're right. You didn't reap your harvest. <laughs> but know that the harvest came, you just didn't reap it. Hear this. The words harvest 
and reaping are not the same. That's right. right. Amen. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Harvest is what has come up from your seed sown. Right. Mm -hmm. Reaping is when you go out there and get it. Right. Yes. And that's coming to your house. Yes. It's going to come up, yes. but you have to reap it. That's right. Amen. Harvest and reaping are not the same. So someone said, Pastor, I sow many seeds, I didn't reap no harvest. That's the issue. Yeah. But the harvest has come. The harvest has come. And now God tells us this year, the abundance of harvest has come. Wow. So we have to do what? Reap it. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Shush. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. It ain't a little harvest out here this year. That's right. Come on, we just a part of the harvest out here. That's it, man. But don't believe in here, Thompson. Well, Pastor, it was a bunch of harvest. I didn't do it. I ain't reap nothing. You're right. Yeah. You go back to the same issue. You didn't reap it. Right. Right. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Help us, Lord. Yes. Help us, Father. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because Jeremiah 5 24, don't turn there, don't turn there. Jeremiah 5 24. The appointed weeks of harvest. There's harvest appointed again, set aside again, designated for you and your family. Mm -hmm. Why pastors is designated for me? Because I sow the seed. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I sow the seed for it. If I sow the seed for it, that means that. Yeah, yeah. that's right. We were just playing talk a while ago. Hey, that's my harvest. That's my harvest. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's not a matter of if it's your harvest. It's not a matter of, well, uh, well maybe God will see fit to give it to me. No. If you yeah. sow the seed, that's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Come yeah. on, y'all. Amen. But how does us know that we have sown more than we have reaped? That's true. Amen. 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 That's Amen. 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 Or hit us, we call it master reapers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Next week, we'll be watching the Super Bowl. All right. It's called, here it is, professional football. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He said professional means they have mastered the fundamentals. Uh -huh. uh, There's no difference between a, 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 a Pee Wee football, high school football, College football, professional football. It's all football. Yeah. But what happens to get to professional, they are expecting that you have what? Mastered yes. the fundamentals. Yeah. We must master the fundamentals of reaping. Yes. Yes. Amen. My God. So we can get all get in all this abundance of harvest in 2019. Master of God, he come masters in reaping. Yes, yes not you. not reaping a uh, hidden and missing in reaping. Right. Mm -hmm. Not reaping one year and next year you don't see anything. Right. That's right. Oh, come Amen. on, y'all. Amen. Amen. Masters fully developed in reaping. Here, skillful in reaping. Yes. Right. yes. Amen. My God. Amen. Say, yes. Lord, make me a skillful reaper. Lord, Lord make me a skillful reaper. My God. Yes. I remember, uh, how, how do you become skillful in anything? Uh, I remember growing up, growing up, and uh, we used to, uh, we used to play Madden football, the game on, on, on game system. You know, I was always a little younger than all the other guys I grew up with, my cousins, and all of them always older. They used to beat me pretty good, beat me. Uh -huh. But I, I don't like losing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I got my own game system in yeah. the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I used to practice. Uh -huh. yeah. I knew that they come 
<laughs> yeah, so we'll be together again. Yeah. That's what right. we're walking past. I want to do. I was a lot of my skills. Yeah, that's right. Amen. I was a lot of them. Cause I wanted to be them. Yeah. I want. I want my skills. I want to spoil them. Oh, my God. Yeah. Amen. Uh-huh. So I wanted to become a master at playing Madden. So later on down the years, after years of, of, of developing and playing and developing our skills, I started dating this beautiful thing right here. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we got married, had children. And then, you know, I used to get together around a prophet's house and play the game. Uh-huh. We had uh, Phil there, uh-huh. Kendall, Travis, Montney, uh, Demetrius, everybody around there playing the back. Uh-huh. And man, he used to get so mad. <laughs> Cause it could be. Uh-huh. Yeah, amen. You could look like he about to be like right? coming to me. Yeah. <laughs> I even one time brought this kid out. Just look at that kid. Cause he was so mad, he was angry, and blushing, and ready to fight. Bro, get out! <laughs> you remember that? Yes, I can't hide. Get gone. This is getting really tense around here. Yeah. <laughs> And the only way you get better at anything is through practice. Mm-hmm. That's right. mm-hmm. You get skillful at anything yes. yes. through practice. Mm-hmm. Whether it's violin, whether it's singing, whether it's uh, even preaching, or you know, whether uh, a yeah. business, a uh, salesman, the more you do it, the better you get it. Yes. 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 Let's go to Hebrews 5, verse 12. You become skillful at anything. Continue using it or continue practicing it. Hebrews 5 verse 20. Okay? He says, For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need of one to teach you again, which be the first principles of the Lord of God, or the fundamentals. Watch it up. He says, But now you should be a teacher of the fundamentals and not watch this. I'm going to have to teach you again the fundamentals. And I become such as that need of milk and not a strong meat. For everyone that is used that uses milk is watch this unskillful. Yeah. And the word of righteousness for his debate. But then he says, But strong meat belongs to them that are full of age, even those who by reason of use, who by reason of use have their senses exercised to deserve both good and evil. Yeah. So how do I become skillful, Pastor? By reason of use. Yeah. Uh-huh. Practice. Practicing, practicing reaping, yeah. practicing reaping, and the more I practice reaping, watch this, the more skillful I become, yeah. Yeah. and I will become a professional reaper, mm-hmm. master reaper, okay? Yeah. Now, we'll keep practicing. Then again, you're a master source. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, my God, I don't think I know about very love, y'all some sore people. Yeah. The song come here and say they got no food, everybody reaping the power trying to bless them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, every time, up to the come, every time we give people our sowing. Uh, so yeah. the issue is not sowing. All right? That's right. Yeah. The issue is not sowing at all. Yeah. All the issue is sowing more seed. I mean, thank God for you we continue to sow. That's what we see time and harvest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's not your issue. You're always helping people and feeding people. Giving people a ride and, and, and buying groceries and, and paying off for like this and doing it. You're always doing that. Yes. So your issue is not so much. We just got to become master reapers. Yes. Master reapers. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. That was all prep work <laughs> to get us here. <clears throat> See time. And harvest does not respond to prayer. That's right. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Prayer does not activate seed time harvest. That's right. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of prayer warriors there mm-hmm. that are broke. Yeah. Yes. 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 Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Through all that praying, with the activate 
the law of seed time harvest here, mm -hmm. it will be broken. That's right. right. Amen. No, you mix it up sesame. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or watch this. You're, you're, you're going at it out of due order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go back to the bad order. You're uh -huh. out of order. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Prayer does not activate seed time harvest. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Pray all you want, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you get up off your knees, mm -hmm. yes. You're gonna have to sow a seed. Yes, uh, that's yes. what that makes it. Amen. You're gonna have to sow your seed. Yes. 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 You can get a heart. Yes. Yes. Get a heart. yes. Amen. Yes. Well, all, all you're doing is praying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're working the wrong system. Right? Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. If prayer has its place yeah. in the in the things of God, but not in the law of seed time of harvest. That's right. Baby. Amen. Praying for harvest. Go back to Genesis eight twenty two. I, oh Lord, I hear people. Oh, I hear people loud on Facebook. Like, Ugh, I don't know why that. I don't know why that preacher. Well, just be patient. <laughs> just be patient. We'll show to you. Yeah. Why the earth remain? Uh -huh. Seed time and harvest. Yes. Cold and heat. Uh -huh. Summer and winter. Day and night shall not cease. That's right. Question: How many of you prayed? For the sun to come up this morning. God, please let day come. <laughs> Lord, we need day, Lord. We need day, Lord. We need day, Lord. We need day, Lord. Give us day, Lord. Give us day, Lord. Give us day. You don't pray for that. No, we didn't pray for that. You know as long as the earth remains. Yeah, that's right. They got to come. They got to come. And in a few hours, night will come. Night will come. We don't pray about those things. Sowing and reaping. Right. 
Genesis 1, down to verse 1. The worlds were framed by God's words. Likewise, your harvest will be will come in by your words. Yes. Yes. Okay. Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, hear it, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay? The earth was without form, void, darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Uh -huh. So the earth was, was, a, was a mess. Yeah. Yes, amen. All right? It was without form, void, darkness was upon the face of the deep. All right? First thing that God does, God what? Say it. Okay? Why? This is how. Whatever it is, this is how it changes by what you what say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God said, "Let there be light," and there was what light. Yeah. And God hear it saw the light. Mm -hmm. My brothers, my sisters, hear it. We reap by what we hear it say. Yes. Yeah. The sickle is your mouth. Mm -hmm. The sickle is your tongue. Mm -hmm. You call in that what you have need of. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. God said it. Yeah. God saw it. Uh -huh. God said it. God saw it. That's the whole Genesis 1. God said God saw it. That's how this thing works. Yes. Okay? You sow your seed. Mm -hmm. And then you begin what? Saying or calling in your heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. God said God saw it. That's how this thing works. Yeah. This is how your harvest comes in. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you will reap your yeah. bundle harvest for 2019. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have to put in your sickle. What yeah. is my sickle, Pastor? It's your tongue. Yeah. 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 You have something to say. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. Immediately, when the harvest has come, he put it in the sickle. Not yeah. God. Yeah. God is not going to put a sickle in for you. You have to put your own sickle in. Yeah. That's Call it right. your harvest. You sow the seed for it, then you gotta call in your harvest. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call it in. Call it in. Yes. God said God saw. Mm -hmm. You said you see. Uh -huh. yes. You said you see. Yes. Uh -huh. That's how this thing works. Yes, amen. Mark 11, 23. Come on. That's how this works. You have something to say. Remember, that harvest is designated yours. That's your harvest. Yes, amen. That's yours. They ain't got to do age either. Age? No, 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 they matter. That's a law. Yeah. A child can work seed time of harvest. Yeah. Yes. Amen. But really, I'm saying to you that whosoever shall hear it, say. Mm -hmm. And you got something to say. Yeah. You're sowing too much. Not you saying anything. You might. God? Amen. Oh, every time Amen. the water comes around, you put something in it. You got something to say. Amen. Believe that what you say 
should come to pay again. Yeah. Believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made it too hard. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We did. We made it difficult. Yeah. We made it mysterious. <laughs> we made it challenging. Someone can say, I believe. Mm -hmm. I receive my house this year. Yeah. Yeah. Believe in those yeah. things. House. Yeah. Yeah. But you just said, yeah. she'll come to pay. Man, we need some heart. That's how you read, man. Yeah. Yeah. Believe that those things that you say. Yeah. Not what the church says. Yeah. What you say. Yeah. Believe what you say. Yeah. She'll come to pay. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. You shall have yeah. happen. What's wrong you say? That's right. I mean, and watch what he didn't say. The word pray. Believe what you say. Yes. She'll come to pay. So say someone is believing for the business to expand. Oh, they have to say it? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. We go back. All they gotta do is make sure there's something to see for it. Yeah. <laughs> and then say it. Yeah. <laughs> and believe in those things, you say it's a corner path. But yeah. you see, time and all right. And you should have what you say. That's right. right. That's reason. Yes. Amen. Amen. We have left too much harvest out there. Yes. Mm. I got it. Waiting for God to give him a harvest. Mm. And God was like, baby, you ain't said nothing. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Yes. You ain't said anything. Wow. How do I read, Pastor? Believe that those things that you say should come to pass. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. House. Car. Marriage restoration. Kids saved. I want to let church go. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes amen. Yes. Uh -huh. I believe that great enough is bursting out in the scene. Yes, yes amen. amen. All I got to do is make sure that I believe that those things I say shall come to pass. Right, right. Watch it. We're going to be what? Bursting out in the scene. Yes, yes. right. Yes. I shall have uh -huh. whatsoever yes. I say of this. This is how you put the sickle in. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 This is it, man. Yes. I know what we want to do. We want to be a mystery, Pastor. It's going to be a mystery. Ain't no mystery. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Believe what you say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I'm telling you, the part. Here's the part. That's why I got it in my screen and everything, because I've been practicing and working on it. I must believe what I say shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. yes. Why are you playing this Chris Bill? We should have what's what we say again. Yes. We're church folk sometimes. Um, Confuse their spirit. Don't don't be wrong. Don't feel none of that. Is when you say, "I have it." Mm. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. Yes. But what you're doing here, you say, "I have it." Your spirit and your soul are battling one another. Because your soul is like. Where is it? <laughs> the soul is going to what you have it. Well, where is it then? Mm -hmm. Jesus never told you to believe that you have it. He didn't say that. He said, believe that what you say shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Believe what you say. 
And he should have us when he's saying again. I understand what you're saying when you say, I have it. So I have my new car. And I understand what you're saying, baby. I do. I do. Because spiritual people, we understand that. We understand what you're saying. But what's happening is you're calling a, you call it a mixture on your side. Or, 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 or I think what was it? Uh, uh, Hebrews calls it, uh, it calls it a strike on your side of you. Because your spirit is saying, I have it. Your soul is saying, no, we don't. But Jesus said, for me, what you say right. shall come to pass. So I believe we have supernatural church growth. Yes. I believe that what I say shall come to pass. I believe supernatural church growth is happening in great love. I believe, uh, 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 so I say, Pastor, I, I believe for, for, for a new home, okay? All you gotta do is believe that, that what you say shall come to pass. That's I will rebuke the vow for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your line cast their fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. All nations shall call you blessed, for you shall be a delightsome land, says the Lord of hosts. He says, but your words. He just said all that about tithing and offering and blessing and, and opening the windows of heaven, and you won't have to receive it. He said, but your words. Mm -hmm. So what's the money was he? God didn't even trust the money. Uh, no. It's in your words. Your words. Yeah. For words have been stopped against you. Mm -hmm. What's been coming out your mouth yeah. is the issue. Yeah. Yet you say, what have we spoken so much against thee? You have said it in vain to serve God. Mm -hmm. What profit is it that we have kept this order? Why do I give? And I don't know get no heart. Oh, y'all hear me? That's not going to work. Uh, 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 I've been tired of a year and I'm still broke. Uh, now it's not working. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only like changing in the past is a cap. Oh, wow. That's not going to work. Uh, uh, I said, oh, that church one is your money. Uh, <laughs> y'all heard this stuff? Yeah. 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 
first house. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why I got the second, third. I tell you, we've made it hard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. You believe that what you say shall come to pass. Yeah. Yeah. What is? No matter what it is, healing, health, uh, well, finances, uh, children, uh, merit. Doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. You read the same way. Calling those things. Yeah. The Dina and those mm -hmm. things. I'm calling you. I decree I, I'm decreeing for our new building. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. I, 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 new building, I could come. Yeah. So that's next. Yeah. Now, where it's going to come from, I know it's not how. That's not my part. Yes. Yeah, amen. I don't know if I'm going to be walking to Walmart and somebody's going to bump into me and we're going to strike a conversation. We said, we're selling out the building. We're selling out the building. Blah, blah, blah. I said, what? Yeah. You need a building. Uh -huh. Man, I don't know how it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All I'm supposed to do is call. Oh, call man. Man. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We've had to call. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me? Yes. That's our part, right? Yes, yes. Well, this job, or they received their job when she was working at the pot, was not pot, it was uh, the, 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 the one you're there now. Yeah. You bump into the lady that you used to work with at, 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 uh, at, at that time, you bump into her at the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, family. Mm -hmm. Do you know? How divine it is for you to bump into someone. Think about this. That means you had to, you had to first of all get to the mall at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Any anything, any small thing could have turned uh, stopped it from happening. Right. Yeah. Right. The stoplight could have caught you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, a cell phone call, or, or, or you could have said, let's walk in this store. Mm -hmm. Just just 15 seconds off, and it can't happen. That's right. right. Amen. Right. When these things happen, don't just say, oh, oh, I'll walk into a so and so. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> right. Amen. Why did I bump into so and so? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because five seconds off, and we never saw each other. That's right. And, and, and. That's right. We never, we never. Girl, you were there. Y'all, I didn't see you. We never saw each other. It was Isaiah 55, verse 1. Money is not the problem. Not as a 55 verse one. It's in there. <laughs> Money is not the problem. I said 55 verse one. Oh, 50. 55, yeah, verse one. Come on, there you go. Oh, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, watch this. Buy wine and milk without money, without price. That means you don't have to have the money to get what you need. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. My God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be real with you. He said, we must stop being money-minded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God can give you the money, yeah. or he can give you the thing without the money. Right. That's right. That's right. What's the difference between God giving me the money to buy a house right. and giving me the house? Yeah. All I desire was the house to That's right. Amen. Now, he give me the money, or just give me the house? I don't care. No. He can go buy a house. Money, 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 money. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, come back. 
without money. Yeah. Now the pastor, I put pressure on the saints to give. Yeah. Now you gotta have a fifty 
shoot you through. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 like, what? Yeah. You're going to be like, hey, you are. You're going to be like, all right, God, what you going to be in there? What you going to do, God? I know you're in here. What you going to be doing? <laughs> You gotta watch God move. Because yeah. yeah. you're going in that faith, all your confidence is in Him. Yeah. You have no confidence yeah. in yourself whatsoever because yeah. you don't know what He's here to do. Why? Nah, <laughs> yeah. God! Yeah. Jesus. All right, let's see. All right, let's, let's look at this real quick. Uh, ways that harvest can come in. <coughs> now, you know, I didn't. Put no scripts on these. We can't go back and do it yourself. So. <laughs> 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 the ways the harvest come in. The first one of the way it come in is through money. It can come through money. Yes. Money can come through money. <laughs> or the second way harvest comes in, the thing itself. Yes. Okay, he can give you the money to get the thing, or he can just give you the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Third way harvest comes in, divine things. Mm -hmm. Oh my Lord. Yes. These people don't know why they give it to you. Yeah. Why? Because I favor them. Yeah. Yes, amen. Divine favor. Fourth way harvest can come in through divine idea. God can be a divine idea. Fifth way, divine opportunity. Something you don't even qualify for. You get the opportunity to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A door is open up just for you. Oh my yeah, Lord. Yeah. This is all harvest coming in. Mm -hmm. And the first way harvest can come in, he said, through the blessing of your hand. Something to you put your hand in. What was the brother Jerry Seville was saying? You know, but Jerry Seville used to work on cars. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, guy, a guy had a hot rod, but he was in some financial trouble. He asked Brother Seville, could he help him? You know, he said, well, I, you know, the car is worth more than that. He said, I need $5,000 from Jerry. If you can give me $5,000, I need this car. And it really helped me out a whole lot. I, I really need this money. He needs the money. So, brother Jerry said, okay, I'll help you. So, the man gave him the car. And he said, all the work that needed to be done to the car, he could do it. Uh -huh. So, he fixed the car up. And then somebody wanted to buy the car. Uh -huh. And he said, and he, he, he bought the car for 5000 Sold it for twenty five thousand. What about if he just left the work with his hands? Yeah, yeah. he put his hands to God. Okay, I'm gonna bless it. Yeah. But this is the of it. He sold it for twenty five thousand. He said he went back and did more. Let me have some more money. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So God can bless the blessing of your hands. Yeah. So He can give you money. He can give you the thing. Divine favor can come. Divine ideas. Divine opportunities. Remember, mm -hmm. Apostle Show was at the beginning of the year about poor means what? Passing off opportunities repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Meaning God can give you opportunities, but you keep passing off from them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a blessing of your hand. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We're going to do this, this, this last phase, and we got, we're, we're sorry. Alright, let's, let's, let's do this last part. Let's go to Job 22, verse 28. Now, let's get this in. Just the way the Holy Spirit has us right now. Let's get this in. So, again, if you come in from the money, the thing, divine favor, uh, see, because a lot of these things money can't get you. That's right. right. Amen. Right. right. Amen. A divine opportunity? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A divine idea? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, my. Yes, so, God is like, don't just look at money. Look at what, look at what I'm doing right here. Yeah. 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 That is completely not money. I don't want a money on another big issue. Right, yes. Amen. So again, we gotta just stop thinking at the money issue, money side, alright? Alright, yeah. Job 22, verse 28. Alright, so. So you reap by your mouth. Your tongue is a sickle. Thou shalt also decree a thing. Okay. So you decree, watch this, you decree, I shall receive my new home this year. And I believe. What I say shall come to pass. All right? Check. Decree. It shall be established on thee. All right? That's it. Your heart. All right? You have right to lay claim on it. It's yours. Yes. Here's the part again. He says, and the light shall shine upon your ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord. Yes. 
this year, people with greater love and all social media have to follow the prompting of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Lord of the harvest. He is more responsible for making sure all harvest is reaped. Amen. So, the decreed check is designated as yours. Check. Now, the light is going to shine upon your way, for the Holy Spirit is going to direct you on where to go, where to go, what to do. Mm -hmm. I remember. With the realtor, we were looking for our new home. And you know, they, they give us the homes and all these things. And she said, scratch off the ones that you, you know, she said, check the ones you want to see, whatever. Or scratch off the ones you don't want to see. So we scratched off the ones. I don't want to see that. I don't see that. I don't see that one. Let's see that one. Let's see that one. All right? So the day we went out to go look at the house, the houses, you know, we, we walk the houses. Oh, that's nice. Well, 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 I don't want to do anything for you, though. You know, man, that's all right. That's all right. She said, but if you don't, she said, what she said, you don't, if you're not in love with me, you don't fall in love, don't even mess with it. That's right. That's all right. So we just, you know, kept looking, kept going. And so we went to go see one, but when we got there, uh, I don't want to see them, Lord. We just decided we don't want to go in there. Mm -hmm. So we had some time available until the next house that we were going to have there to be opened up. But one of the houses that we did, we checked off and then went to go see, she was like, well, let's go see this house. I didn't want to go see this house. But the property was like, well, go see it. Let's go see it. Uh -huh. Well, we'll go see the house. And you can ask my wife and family, as soon as I walk in, I say, yeah, this is it. <laughs> I like this one. But at first, I, I didn't want to see it. Because they said, just go see it. Follow what is the prompting. The, 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 the. Let's go see these things. We're going to Acts. We're going to stay in Acts and then we're going to Acts 8, verse 29. I need all this time. The phone is dying. Okay. All right. <laughs> Acts 8, verse 29. You still up? Mm -hmm. All right. This is the time Acts 8, verse 29. <laughs> then the Spirit said unto Philip, watch this. Then the Spirit said to Philip, go near. Join thyself to this chariot. Mm -hmm. who, who, who told Philip to do that? You see a chariot? Go, 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 go over here. Prompt. Same spirit as Philip? Yeah. Prompt. Lead me. He tells you, go, don't go to this Walmart. Go to that Walmart. Right. Right. Who was at Minister Paul? She said she, 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 what she, uh, she called before and they declined her. Mm -hmm. What she do? She called back again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow the leading. Follow the, 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 the prompt. Mm -hmm. Something's in your spirit to do, just ignore it. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Don't ignore it. Not this year. No, 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 no. Not this year. Not don't ignore it. Don't ignore that, 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 you know, something's telling me. No, don't ignore that. It's something yeah. telling you. Yeah. That's the Lord of the Harvest saying, I have something for you. Yeah. Those appointed weeks of harvest, it's your week. I got something to tell you. Yes. Follow me. Amen. Spirit said to Philip, Acts 10, verse 19. Come on, roll with me, roll with me. Come on, come on, come on. Acts 10, verse 19. Acts 10, verse 19. Come on. Acts 10, verse 19. Watch this. While Peter thought on the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men seek thee. Who said? The Spirit said, Yeah. yeah. Peter. Three men down there looking for you. Causing these divine connections. You know these men came from Cornelius' house. Mm -hmm. So God was talking to Cornelius and talking to Peter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm telling you? God was setting up. Again, those, those bumpings don't get those. I bumped into. Here he is. I bumped into. I'm just bumping. These are divine things. Yeah. yeah. 
Divine opportunity, yeah. divine ideas, divine favor, setups. Yeah. Don't ignore that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, tell you, call back to here again. Well, God, I already told me no one time to call again. Well, God, I already told me my credit ain't right. Call again. Oh, yeah. Here we go, talk God out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Go right down there and look at the clock. God, I got the money. God, what did I tell you to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what you said was to you? Do it. Yeah. This year, that's that's vital. Yeah, it is. The year before the harvest. What's what he said was to you? Do it. It don't make sense. It, 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 nobody got to agree with it. My God, God I tell you, you feel the prompting. Just do it. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Acts eleven verse twelve. Come on, keep hand the button. We right. Let's go. Acts eleven verse twelve. Come on. Acts eleven verse twelve. Come on. Watch this. Come on. And the spirit, watch this. Made me go with them. Yes. Nothing doubted. That's right. He said the spirit bade me or, or, or yeah. urged me to yeah. go. Yeah. And don't doubt anything. Oh my right. God, man. Yeah. When you feel that, don't sleep on that. Yeah. Don't put it off. Don't I go tomorrow. Yeah. Next week, no. If the Holy Spirit, you feel a big uh, 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 urging, do it. Do it. Do it. It's, it's, it's a hard to that thing, man. Yeah. Y'all see what I'm telling you? Yes. That's a harvest on it. Yes. Uh -huh. The Spirit made me to go. He said what? Don't doubt. Don't doubt at all. Just go. Yes. <laughs> no That's beautiful right there, right? No. Don't doubt. Just go. Yes, no. Don't sit there and let the devil talk you out of it. Put the clothes on down. Yes. <laughs> Amen. 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 He made me to go. He urged me yeah. to go. Or at 16 verse 7. Look it up. Come on. Come on. Oh. At, at 16 verse 7. Go. Listen then. Go. Come on. Yeah. There you go. After they were come to uh, Messiah, they are saying to Bethania, watch this. But the Spirit suffered them not. Oh, watch this. The Holy Spirit said, don't go. No. That's, right. That's just as poor as you're going. Yes, yes, it, it, is. Is. yes, yes it, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right. right? Yeah. Um, the Spirit said, hey, no, 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 no. Wait. Yeah. Just wait. Uh -huh. I think that's just as important as dumb dumb. Amen. I'm going, dumb dumb. Yeah. Yeah. All, we, all we want to do is do what he tells us to do. Yeah. Yes. Spirit says, nah, just wait. Just wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if the door is open right now, God, I'm ah, staying. Yeah. You wait till I tell you to go. Yeah. Don't get ahead of me. Yeah. Right? Three more. Acts 18, 5. Go. Acts 18, 5. Come on, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Come on. Acts 18, 5. He says, While and when Silas and Timothy were come from Macedonia, here we go again. Paul was here. Press in the spirit. Pressing. You don't know that we can't reach a new you had to do something. Yes. You just knew. You didn't you didn't even know how you knew, you just knew I was supposed to do this. Yeah.
my Lord into Jerusalem, not knowing the thing that shall befall me that bound in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Then you can't shake it what you wanted to shake it. I got to do this. I got to do this. I don't want to go. I don't know what's over there. I just know I have to do this. You know sometimes? This is so important. Everybody listening to the sound of my voice on today. It's so important. In this year of Mother's and Parks, Prompting, the leading, the pressing, the urging, the baiting, the bounding of the Holy Spirit. Yes. He's trying to get your heart too. Amen. 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 Bless God. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Amen. All right, we'll start right here. Yes. My God, my God.